All right, we continue this afternoon with Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Scott. My next guest is Jeanette Hinojosa. She is DJ Jeanette. Jeanette. <laughs> that just has yes. a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I like it. <laughs> right. So you're a DJ? Yes. Yeah. Is that I'm your full-time? Full-time, no. No? Unfortunately. No? You wish it was full-time, <laughs> I wish right? it was. Because that's the fun part of your, yeah, your that's life. The, yeah, yeah, that's the good stuff. You told me about four years you've been... Unofficially DJing, unofficially DJing, but now you have your own equipment and you're yep. you're out there. You have quite a list of events coming up. Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, um, what? When did you really get the bug for this? I actually wanted to start when I was in high school. Once I got more involved in music and the electronic music scene, and then um, I just decided one day I was like, I want to be a DJ. I go to all these parties and I see all these DJs, and I'm like, I can do that. I can do better than that. So I started practicing on my own, started learning off of YouTube videos, and finally had time to um, buy the equipment and got started there. Yeah. What is the equipment now? It's all pretty much digital, right? It's pretty much digital, yeah. So what I have is a little controller, but the old school DJs, you know, they use vinyl and turntables and all that, but I stay with the controller. It's easy stuff. So a little controller and some big speakers, right? <laughs> big speakers and my laptop, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. We're going to run down because she has a whole list of places she's going to be. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and start and tell everybody what the, what the so, events you have. Starting this Saturday, actually, if you guys want to go to the Azteca Theater, that event is called Sweet Dreams. I'm going to DJ there. Where is the Azteca Theater? Is that Chinatown? The, yes, Chinatown. Oh. Yeah, they renovated it. That's also. right. Yeah. That's right. They fixed it up. And um, Down by Chick Chansey Park, right? Kind of. Uh, kind of. Kind, kind of. of around there, yeah. yeah. Chinatown, yeah. So the next one after that, February 13th, I'm going to DJ for my own event, which is Raver Tines Day, and that's at Galeb's Hookah Lounge. What would you call it? River, River Tines? Raver Tines. Raver Tines. Raver Tines. What does Because it's the day right before Valentine's Day, so... <laughs> <laughs> Raver Tines Day. Raver Tines Day, <laughs> yep. All right. After that, in February 20 and 21... We have the anime event at the Fresno Fairgrounds. That's not my event. It's um, Rick Rick's event. And um, I'm going to DJ there. It's there, We're having a special little section right there for DJs, and it's like the rave party type thing at night. And that's only going to be three hours long that night. So it's and two days at the fairgrounds. Two days. Yeah. The anime event, yes. Anime. Anime. Cool. Yeah. That one, yeah. And then um, that same night on February 20th, I'm going to DJ at Liquid Fetish. And that one's called Light Up the Night. And that one's, um, it's a smaller rave that people go to. Where is that Light Up the Night? I mean, Liquid, li fetish. liquid fetish? Yes, it's a tattoo parlor uh -huh. in, in downtown Fresno, okay. kind of by the Rainbow Ballroom. Okay. Yeah. That one's, a, it's a nice venue. It's really nice. I like it there. Um, March 18th, we're going to DJ for uh, Electric Dream 2016, and that one is at The Loft. That one's in Tower District right down the street. The Loft? The Loft. It's a beautiful venue. My favorite one. It's beautiful in there. It's so clean and like neon lights. Where, where is that? Which corners is it on? Um, if you pass uh, Vinny Vidivici. Um, it's right down there. And oh, is it street. that big event center? Yeah. Yeah, I know where that is. Oh, you okay. need to go inside. It's amazing. Okay. It's, it's beautiful. Um, next up, we have March 19th. I'm DJing for Spring Groove, and that one is at Cake Enterprises right down here also in a Tower District. And then uh, April 16th, going to DJ for Peace on Earth, and that is uh, an event that I am throwing along with um, Steph and Jilly. And it's at the Crest Theater. And that one the is... The historic Crest Theater. Yes. And that one is to help renovate the Crest Theater and rebuild it. And then May 6th, I'm going to DJ for Bass Face. And that one is one that my friend Steph and Jilly is throwing. And that one is at Studio 951. Do you book these things mainly yourself? <laughs> or do people come and seek you out? Or? They seek me. The promoters seek me. And then two of them are my events. Um and that I'm partnering with somebody else as well. So, yep, people yeah. look for me. Yeah. yeah. Now, you said this isn't your full-time job. What else do you do? No. Or do you care uh, to say? Well, right now, I just got a new job. <laughs> I'm starting today, actually. Wow. First day. It's uh, for debt collections. A debt collections? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. So the people that hire you and don't pay you, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
I will be calling you. Well, best of luck to you, Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'm, I, it's nice to see you're keeping so busy and have so many dates. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive for a young lady your age. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if folks would like to book you, how can they yes. do that? They can find me on all social media sites um, at DJ Jeanette. So just find me on there. I'm on SoundCloud, Facebook, Instagram. Those are the basic ones that I use. You got them all covered. Yeah. At DJ Genetti. DJ Genetti. You can find me any way like that. All you right. can listen to my mixes on SoundCloud. And they're really good if you're working out. People usually tell me, like, this, I want to work out to this mix right here that you made. So I will check it out. Thank you. All right. Jeanette, thank you so much for coming <laughs> thank in today. Thank you so much. And we'll be back with more on Central Valley Talk.